hey what's going on youtube we're back today with a brand new video and today we're back with what happened to this popular roblox shooter game but without wasting any time let's hop straight into today's video and like i said in this video we're going to be talking about a popular game that isn't so popular anymore and to me it's actually quite surprising because this game truly did have it all but the game we're talking about today is Polyguns. So Polyguns, a little backstory if you don't know, was a game that used to be super popular and seemed like it was going to be one of the long lasting Roblox mini games that would be popular for a while. But things didn't really turn out that way. And nowadays in 2021, the game is just about dead. It's unfortunate because I really do feel like this game was one of the best ones out. First up, the first reason why is because it's different. So one thing this game had going for itself was the fact that it truly was different. This game was not like your average Roblox minigame where it could be genre to one specific title. Yes, it was a shooter game but it did have some things going for it that was pretty different. This game has arcadic features, but it also had simulation and realistic features. It was a party game, but it could also be played competitively. So with all of these different things, you didn't really know how you could exactly categorize it, and that's what made it fun because it was unique. But next up, let's talk about the art style. So we all know the graphical jumps and enhancements Roblox has had over the past years. But I truly do feel like this game looked better than those. This game was one of the best looking Roblox minigames and still is to be honest. I think the rest of Roblox either has to catch up to this game or this will forever be just one of the most aesthetically pleasing games on the entire game of Roblox. which makes it just that much more disappointing that the game failed. But next up, let's talk about how it's addictive. So this game being addictive was an understatement to say, at least for me, at least, because this game had one thing really going for itself. The fact that it was easy to pick up and play, but hard to master. And this small design element makes more of a difference than you may think. The fact that it's easy to pick up and play makes it very inclusive for newer players and the fact that it's hard to master holds players attention for a longer time than a game with no skill gap. And this is important because that allows a wide variety of people of different skills and skill levels. But last but not least, let's talk about the different ways that you can play. So the different ways that you can play this game was made it interesting. This is the best game to play with friends because you can play solo or with friends. You can play casual or you can play ranked and you can mix and match each of these game modes together. That way you always have the perfect game to play at any moment. Plus all of the different game types like team deathmatch, search and destroy and all of these shooter game modes you always could play exactly what you want when you want it. But that's it. That's been the video. This has been what happened to this popular Roblox shooter game. But like always, if you enjoy it, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss out on our free Roblox giveaway at the end of the month.